Hello, 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 hello. Hello, DJ. All right. I, I am so sorry. I am so sorry, but it's raining cats and dogs. So, and there was an, an electricity outage, right? So, or a blackout, so people call it. As I am sorry, right? So, eh, well, let's just continue this one. Estamos en the counter, right? Preguntando la palabra counter. And I said that it was like reception, right? Eh, well, so like, for example, when you go to um, one of those restaurants, siempre hay una pequeña salita de espera. All right. So, donde like, you know, they make you wait. Uh, until everything is uh, ready, right? For you to um, access to the restaurant right here, all right? So mm -hmm. let's see here. Give me one quick second and try to open the presentation again. All right. One quick second, please. Mm. All right, one second. Okay. Sorry, guys. Give me one quick second right now. Hey, listen. Uh, since I have two computers, right? So, um, to share the information in the com the, the one of them is the desktop, right? And in the desktop, um, you know, it went off. So right now it's loading again. So let me share here. But I have a copy of the. Um, uh, presentation on my phone. So I will share a screenshot right now uh, through the WhatsApp group so you can see it. In the meantime, I get access again to my desktop computer. So let's see. One second. Okay, okay. Okay, this is the next slide. Everybody, please pay attention to the WhatsApp group right now. This is the next slide that we were going to, to see here, right? I send it to the WhatsApp group. Please check it out. It says the server, the server, the server. Can you see it? Yes. All right. Hey, Daniel, can you help me uh, reading this slide, please? The servers. Mm -hmm. Also, speed the service. Service is by Service. Service is still usually accepted. Expected. Mm -hmm. The success of the worst experience is more dependent on the service personal style all right excellent so thank you very much this one it means like you know um in those type of restaurants right it's not it's not only about like the speed right no es solamente la velocidad del servicio sino que la gente también eh, wants to have a great experience you know so that actually depends on the personal or server's personal style, right? Depende mucho de la persona de servicio de cliente que los atienda. Of course, the waiter, the waitress, or like um, the host, all right? Thank you. Uh, Daniel, can you continue helping me with the second part? Okay. The second part say that a uh, grocery service can read a good meal while a uh, service pleasant disposition can help immensely when things do go wrong do well wrong all right excellent so hey i have a question thank you daniel i have a question uh what is grouchy mm -hmm. i don't know 
<laughs> All right. So anybody else who knows that word? What is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. Excuse me? Ochi. Gruchi is uh, es, es como una persona gruñona, no sé. <laughs> Gruchi, así como de mal humor, así como like, well, I don't want to say any bad comment, right? But, you know, when you go to some hospitals, right? So you get like some grouchy people, all right? So for example. Okay, so, entonces dice ahí que, you know, una... Um, un server, un waiter en este caso, o waitress, eh, malhumorado o gruñón, puede arruinar, obviamente, eh, el almuerzo, la cena, the, the, the lunch, the dinner of the person who goes there because of the bad experience, of course, right? Eh, and of course, son como dices, like a please, please and disposition, es decir, una disposición completamente para el cliente cuando las cosas se van mal. No va a salir usted más enojado the client, you're not going to be angrier than the customer, right? Of course not. So let's see. Let me send another one right now. I'm still waiting for my computer to load everything. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this is important right here. Take a look. You will see it. Uh, let's see here. One second. I'm sending this right now. Let's see, let's see. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Okay, everybody, there is another slide here in the group. Can you please check it? Can you see it, people? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So now, um, can someone help me with the first two? The first two um, points that you can see there. Mm -hmm. The higher price, the guest prices, the level of service he or she expects. Thank you. A server, a server in a coffee shop may serve from the improper size or ask who gets which sandwich without arousing a strong reaction. All right, excellent. So let's just continue with this one. Thank you very much. So on the first two here, it says, for example, that the higher the price, the guest rises, the level of service he or she expects, right? The más caro, se espera lo mejor, of course, right? That's what it says right here. And in the second one, it says a server in a coffee shop, for example, may serve from the improper side or ask who gets which sandwich without... um arousing a strong reaction, right? Así como, like, que va a servir, dice acá, right? So, sin, eh, remember que hay un, like, there is a position for serving the food, right? Donde usted va a poner el plato, etc. Uh, or eh, not paying attention, for example, to the details. When you go to the restaurant, y unos ordenan una cosa y otros otra, right? Y llega el, llega el, 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 el grouchy, grouchy, um, Server, it says like, bye, ¿quién ordenó esto? Right, so ya le ha pasado. Have you ever had that experience before? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yeah, no. and how, how did you feel? Mm, incomodo. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Uncomfortable, yes, 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 yes. All right, so let's just go on this one right here. Okay, one second. I guess I can show the presentation now. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. One second. Yay.
Okay. Okay, let's see. Hello, 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 people. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. Sorry, there was an internet connection issues here, but I already price pay versus the expect. Like the more they pay, the more they demand, right? The must buy and must exigen, right? And let's just go for the number three and number four. Can somebody else help me to read it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Thank hello. you. Go ahead. Yes. A road show no happen there either, but when the price is modest, guest expectations are usually modest. Okay. Uh, when people are buying more for a meal, uh, whether they expect profitabilities on the part of the staff. Thank you very much. This is what we were saying before, right? So, for example, errors are humans, and sometimes it happens, right? It's impossible not to have errors sometimes, right? But um, what happens is the following. Eh, cuando la gente paga un precio modesto, right? También las expectativas son modestas. So they want food, all right? So they expect professional service and a high degree of expertise, which is mean experience. Experience it like that one on the part of the staff, all right? So basically, that's what this is telling you, right? So this is telling you, right? La comparación entre lo que se paga y lo que se espera. The expectation and price um, based on this one, right? So now let's see. What's next right here? Now let's talk about something different right here, which is the quality here of the products. Let me clean the screen here. Okay, excellent. So we have over here the quality products. All right, all right. So do you think people like the quality is important in the products that you're going to offer and sell? Of course, right? So um, the quality in the product is really important. Then volunteer for the next two. Uh -huh. Who's my volunteer for number one? Thank you, Andre. Please go ahead. Okay. Although service provision is the most obvious job of the front of the house, those who want their share in the responsibility for a quality food book as well. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, which is correct, right? So we're saying that, um, you know, although service provision is the most obvious job on the front of his house, those who work there sharing the responsibility for a quality food product as well, all right? So, no solamente es el servicio, right? So, eh, lo, what it matters in the front house, sino que también tiene que ver con el, eh, el, la calidad del producto de food, in this case, right? So, as well. De nada sirve un buen servicio si el producto es, mm -mm, no, thank you, right? So, thank you. Eh, can someone help me with number two and number three? Please, go ahead. Number two and number three. Mm -hmm. This means that order should be related currently to the kitchen. It also means food should be left to get cool at kitchen pickup station. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So. Uh, as I was saying before, it means like the order should be relayed accurately to the kitchen. Es decir, que se tienen que notar bien las órdenes, right? And it also means food shouldn't be left to get called a kitchen pickup station, right? Um, right, so it means like the food shouldn't be left to get cold, which it means like que no deben enfriarse porque nadie le gusta la comida fría. That's what it means. All right, so it also means food shouldn't be left to get cold at the kitchen pickup station. O sea, que la comida estuvo lista hace un montón, pero la dejaron en la kitchen pickup station, de sitio donde la recogen los meseros, because they forgot to do it. Entonces, ahí la comida se pone cold, which is not correct. That's what it says right there. All right, excellent. So, thank you very much on this one. So, any more questions on this one? Yes. No questions? Vocabulary? Yes, it's in. What's the question, Henry? Uh, la pronunciación de esta palabra, el segundo párrafo, uh -huh. la segunda línea. Accurately. Accurately. 
Teacher, ¿y cuál es el meaning de accurately? Es de manera eh, apropiada o apropiadamente. Ok. Rely, teacher. Rely, confiar. Mm -hmm. Or relay. Oh, this one. Relayed. Relay. Relay, relay, relay. Relay, it means eh, transmitido. O pasado, pues, let's say. Como un mensaje pasado a alguien, ¿ya? Yeah? Por eso dice aquí, la orden debería ser como transmitida o pasada de manera eh, adecuada a la cocina. ¿Understand? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Anything else? Questions, questions? No questions. All right. Excellent. So thank you very much. So let's continue with this one right here. Okay. And uh, then we continue with one second here. Mm. Now we're going to talk about something important right here. All right. So everybody, please, when you see this one, let me know. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. All right. So everybody, please repeat it with me here. Dealing with complaints. Repeat, everybody. Dealing with complaints. Dealing with complaints. Thank you very much. Hey, I have a question for you, everybody. What is complaints? What are complaints? Complementos. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. What is it? ¿Qué? Excuse me? Como, como acompañamientos? No. Como quejas? Yes. Actually, quejas. It's not about food. <laughs> right? so, yes. Son las quejas. In, cual, in cualquier contexto, right? Un complaint. All right? So, like this one. Um, well, so that's why we have some things right here. So, for example, if there is an error... The way food is prepared, the front of the house is where it is likely to show up in a guest complaint, right? ¿Quién se va a hacer cargo del error, del error, all right? Cuando la comida fue preparada de manera equivocada or uh, there is a problem with the dish. Eso lo va a hacer siempre the front of the house, o sea, el waiter or the waitress, right? Ese que se va ahí a show up. What is show up, people? Presentar. Presentar, exactly, right? Eh, que se va a presentar eh, a la queja del cliente, right? So, and people in the front of the house, therefore, need to be prepared to deal with complaints, right? So, you need to have also experience eh, on dealing with these complaints, right? So, because, for example, imagine you go to the restaurant and you complained, right? So, se se queja, you complained about the, um, um, the food, right? Y el mesero le sale actually angry, You know, so it's just going to be like uncomfortable, right? No le puede salir el mesero o la mesera, the waiter, the waitress, más enojado eh, because of the mistake you're reporting, of course, all right? Y se requieren por lo menos dos cosas. We require at least two things right here. Eh, who can help me to read these things? Volunteer, volunteer. Hello, hello. Thank you. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. If there is an error in the way food is prepared, the front of the house is where it's likely to show up in a guest complaint. Okay. The next one also, please. Okay. People in the front of the house, therefore, need to be prepared to deal with complaints. Continuous? Or... Oh, no, you're like this one right here. You see it? Yes. All right, go ahead. Assist them. Uh, doing the required at least two things. Correct. There, uh, must, there must be a willingness 
tú le dicen sim, no sé cómo se pronunciaría simpatically sympathetically sympathetically to a guest complain ajá hey be careful ajá Así, assistant must be in place to permit the service or a supervisor to correct any error promptly and correct. cheerfully uh -huh. a process now as a service recovery thank you very much this is cheerfully repeat it my friend cheerfully cheerfully which it means animal right so like happy okay and sympathetically is de manera simpática right so like you know like polite basically right uh -huh. polite okay all right excellent so let's see here uh, questions about the vocabulary here Teacher, uh, do you remember cheerfully? Oh, cheerfully? Ani animal, ¿fue que dijo? Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Willingness. Which, which one? Willingness and in the, there be most a willing. Yes. Yeah. Willingness, it means like voluntad or disposición. Anything else? Uh -huh. okay. All right. Therefore, por lo tanto, therefore, therefore, therefore. All right. Que dijo qué significaba esta palabra cheer, cheer, cheerfully. All, cheerfully cheerfully animado contento sonriente alegre and some synonyms of happiness all right remember it's the word cheerfully alegremente if you want to say it like that Okay, let's continue then with the next one. Thank you guys for your questions. All right, so now let's talk about the money, the money, the money. All right, so let's see this one right here. And it says like um, the front of the house, it's also the place where the change of goods and services takes place, All right? As a result of a lot of money changes hands to the control aspects of the operation, such as check control, credit card control, and cash control are very important, right? So it's important también manejar esa situation, right? De no me, que la persona que cobre no maneje comida, etc., right? So eh, that's basically the whole thing here. All right. So let's see. Veamos las funciones, las, los deberes, like the, like the duties, the task that the person has to do it right here. All right. So it goes like this one. Eh, all right. I need someone who can help me to read the first three and another person for the last three here. Who's the first one, everybody? Let me hear you. The number one. Uh-huh. Reading the good, the first, mm -hmm. taking the order, mm -hmm. serving the food. Serving the food, thank you very much. All right, so like basically the number one reading the guest is like, Hello, how are you? Welcome to the restaurant. My name is Fulanito. Please take a seat. Come to the table, etc. Right? So the second one is taking the order. It's just like, what would you like to order? Eh, que va a querer, etc., etc. And offer if it is possible to offer something to the customer as well. And llevar la comida. So serving the food. Thank you. All right. So then um, somebody else for the next three? Uh -huh. Mitchell. Uh, Thank you. Go ahead. Removing use tableware, accepting payment and accounting for sales, chains. Yeah. Perdón? I'm sorry, I was just repeating tableware. Tableware. Okay. Mm -hmm. Accepting payment and accounting for sales, church as well as cash, taking the guests and inviting comments and return business okay 
There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one. That's correct. All right. Then I have a question for you, everybody. What is tableware? Mm -hmm. What is tableware? Pantel. Excuse me? Pantel. Pantel. Es como los... No. Well, basically, it's la vajilla, right? Los platos. Is it clear? Yes. yes. All right, excellent. So then, obviously, accepting payment and accounting for sales, charge as well as cash, right? Aceptar el pago. Y al final, cuando el cliente ya se va, like, thanking the guests and inviting comments and return business, right? Like, you know, a very simple phrase like, thank you for coming, I hope to see you next time, or see you next time soon, or see you soon, right? So una frase tan sencilla como esa can create, um, you know, politeness and can invite customers to go back to the restaurant, all right? So, questions? Mm -hmm. Not the chair. No. All right. Perdón, teacher. Yes. Estoy teniendo un problema con la señal, entonces ya no escuché eh, qué significa tableware. Ah, uh, it could be like vajilla o los platos. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, if you don't have more questions, I can continue with the next part here. Can I? Yes. Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, now let's move to the next one, which is the back of the house. All right, so the back of the house. So we already talked about the front of the house, so now let's just talk about the back of the house, all right? So it says, um, like the back of the house is like a factory. Hey, everybody, what is a factory? Do you know that? What is a factory? Fabrica. Una fabrica. Fabrica, exactly, right? Entonces se compara a una fabrica. Why? Well, tiene dos variantes, right? Varieties right here. So the first one, it says like some factories are virtually assembling plants, right? So some plants that they assemble. They assemble they, uh, how do you say that in Spanish? Ensamble. Assembly. Thank you. All right. So like that. Imagine I forgot Spanish. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Other manufactured goods from raw materials, right? Entonces, es decir, van creando eh, esas, algunas eh, fábricas ensamblan y otras van creando de material que ya tienen, all right? So, in a similar... Materia prima. Excuse me? Materia prima. Exactly. All right, so, from raw materials. That's like what you're saying, materia prima. All right, so, a similar distinction can be made regarding restaurants, right? So, algo similar... Puede pasar con los eh, restaurants. Some are really assembly operations. Es decir, ya tienen todo. Solo van poniendo eh, la, things like that. Right? So, for example, um, I can say hay restaurants que ya tienen todo preparado. Like vegetables, carne, pan, etc. And they just put in like together and that's it. Right? Uh, McDonald's. Like, so, like Subway. Mm, yeah, exact, that's true, actually. That could be a good example, right? Ya está todo ahí, solo van armando el sandwich, o ensamblando el sandwich. So, that could be an example. Y esa también, like, um, you know, the... Let me just move to the next one right here. Hold on. The next one right here. Aquí está. All right, which means here that in others, when the product is actually manufacture right on the premises o sea se hace ahí mismo all right o como decimos comúnmente here cooked from scratch o sea cocinado desde el inicio like pupusas or like tony romans right or like etc right so this is like that's actually what it says right here all right so are we clear on that one people yes Yes, 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 yes. Okay, no problem. All right, excellent. So, 
Now let's just talk about the responsibilities, right? ¿Qué hace la back of the house? ¿De qué es responsable? What are they responsible of? All right, so uh, I need three volunteers for this one. For number one, number two, and number three. Who's my first volunteer for number one? Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Go ahead. Yield second one, okay? Aha, uh -huh, Daniel. Okay, responsibilities. The principal responsibility of the bark of the owl is the quality of the food. The first is served. Served. All right. Thank you very much. All right. La responsabilidad principal of the back of the house is the quality of the food. All right. Because it's the chef and all those things. Right. Es decir, ahí la gente debe andar like cover the head. All right. So uh, cleaning the, the, uh, the hands, etc. Right. So thank you very much. Jill, it's your turn. Okay. This is a matter not only of food taste, food safari, sanitation, food cost control, inventory management, and so on, are also significant responsibility of the back of the house. Thank you very much. That's it. All right. So, Jill, please repeat with me this word right here, which it means safety. Repeat it. Safety. Sanitation. Safety. Sanitation. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So that's actually, como dice aquí, no solamente tiene que ver con el sabor de la comida, sino también, mm -hmm. you know, la sanidad, eh, el control de costo, el inventario, etc. Right. So all those type of things. It's a different uh, job que el del front. Right. So, and another volunteer for the last one, please. Meet chair. Because from mm -hmm. timely service is dependent on being able to get the food of the kitchen on time. The kitchen also has a major responsibility with reward to service. Correct. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So it says here timely service. O sea, decir que hay que hacerlo de una manera pronta, right? Quickly. It's not going to be just like that, right? So, uh, because the customers normally go uh, in their lunch time, right? So, imagine que va junto a la almuerzo y se tardan 45 minutos, 45 minutes to serve the food by, by lunch, right? Exactly. So, that's actually important. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las tres responsabilidades más importantes del back of the house? What are the responsibilities, people? Can someone tell me? Mm, the quality, quality. Um, the safety sanity, sanitization uh -huh. and timely service timely service all right so muy buena calidad con sanidad y en un tiempo apropiado all right so thank you my friends you were doing a very good job on this one so let's just continue right now to the next one right here. Let's see what else we have to talk about right here. All right. So, hablemos de los tasks. What do they do here? Food production. All right. So what is food production? The chef and so on. Right. It stands out after predominant work done in the back of the house. So, son los que más representan el the back of the house. Right. Controlling quality and cost are usually parallel activities. Ingredients, procedures, portion sites, porque recuerden que, like, you know, eh, no se puede just, like, decidir, for example, una lasaña a partir a lo loco, right? So, like, to slice it in crazy ways. It has to be a specific size para que, you know, nos tenga el costo y también abunde, right? So, and then we got the next one right here. Eh, tenemos, like, dish and wash, dish washing. And pot washing. Esa es otra parte important, right? So, they are not skilled jobs. ¿Qué es una skilled job, people? Vocabulary, vocabulary. What is a skilled job? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Que no requiere una experiencia previa. Ajá, uh -huh. no requiere una experiencia previa or it's not necessary to know about something specifically, right? So, like, for example, you just wash the dishes, that's it. 
do the dishes, right? Uh, and cleaning up work, which is also important right here. It's important in both. Aquí sí, mira, dice que es important in both. The front and the back, right? No podemos tener un frente limpio y una cocina extremely dirty o al revés, right? Un frente sucio because people won't take a seat on those chairs or tables, right? So, uh, because it is more clearly related to sanit sanitation, right? Back of the house clean up is specifically significant or especially significant, all right? So, questions about vocabulary here, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, questions, no questions? No. Okay, cool. Let's just continue here. Mm, let's continue with the roles, all right? So now we're talking about the cooks and the chef, which are basically the same, all right? Um, that's basically what happens right here, all right? And this is just like what it says, uh, generally done by people with professional chef credentials, all right? Estamos hablando que cuando sean restaurants where people pay a lot, you're talking about a certified uh, chef, right? Uh, but in the, if you go, for example, to other places like, I don't know, guys, if you are from San Salvador, se me viene la mente, it comes to my mind right now, Las Carnitas, you know, those restaurants that you can find in La Quinta o en La 29, all right? So, I, you know, I like, you know, professional chef in those restaurants. Hay gente que can cook, like a cook, all right? So, but no like a professional chef that is going to prepare like fancy dishes, right? Um, and it's not surprising that the work that this group performs can be related, can be learned quickly. Of course, lo pueden aprender rápido because the operation has been deliberately designed to reduce the skill requirements, of course, right? But depends on the restaurant as well. So questions about this paragraph I have seen here right now, people? No? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Ahora vamos a hablar de la next part of the uh, restaurant here, which is the office, the office, the office, the administrative administration section, the management section. All right, excellent. So, and the functions are related to administrative coordination and accounting. So, aquí está the secret. Coordination and accounting, all right, in the operation. So how does it work? It's going to be very simple. Let's just go ahead and check this one. What are the responsibilities? Again, people, I need someone who can help me to read the first two and someone who helps me to read the second two here. Who's my volunteer, people? Hello, hello? Hello, volunteers. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Go with the first two, please. The office has as its first tax administra administrative assistance to the general manager and his or her staff. Thank you. The staff handles correspondence, phone calls, and other office procedures. Procedures. Okay, very good. Excellent. Can someone help me with the next two? Thank you very much, Ursula. Go ahead. These activities also routine are essential to maintaining the image of the restaurant in the eyes of its food. Okay. Ideally, man ideally, managers should not be focused down in mm -hmm. this time mm -hmm. on consuming work. It is essential to have office staff to free manager to manage. Thank you very much. That was actually very good. All right. So as you can see here, those are like, you know, the, the main responsibilities that they, this department or this area of the restaurant is in charge of. All right. So más que todo, administrativo, correspondencia, phone calls, office procedures, right? Um, you know, this is just like um, they are essential to maintaining the image of the restaurant in the eyes of its public, right? So, están encargados de eh, mantener al, al restaurante, you know, a la vista de todos, right? 
in you know it's essential to have office staff to free managers to manage to manage all right so good excellent so if anybody else i mean with questions people mm -hmm. what is the name Bogue Bogue Excuse me. number one two three or four and the four parallel all right and let's see and can the you early manager should not be bogged down oh bogged down is that the one you bogged want down. yes all right that it's a phrasal verb right which is bogged down mm -hmm. And it means like como empantanado, estancado. Más que todo estancado, we'll say it. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So, entonces, por eso dice ahí que idealmente los managers no deberían de estar como estancados o empantanados. If we want to say in a different way. Um, en, en este trabajo mm -hmm. consume, que consume tiempo, right? Por eso que necesita siempre alguien más que le pueda apoyar. Very good. Any other word? Thank you. No more words? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So, now, everybody, let's just talk a little bit more about the roles. ¿Cuáles son los roles que vamos a tener aquí en, este, en esta um, area, right? So, let's see here. All right. So, first of all, any volunteer for reading? Uh-huh. Let's see. Mr. Pardo, Eduardo, Edwin, Guillermo, Henry, Jill. Catherine, Maritza, Noé, Sonia. Thank you, Eduardo. Go ahead and read this paragraph. The manager's administrative assistant of functions as office manager. In the term of a writer, commonly employed a bookkeeper or a content, full or part, full or part of, or use an outer service. Often the secretary of office manager is responsible for filling out forms that serve as the best as the basis for the more formal report. Thank you very much. All right. So it, that was actually good. All right. So it's like you know uh, the office manager basically. All right. So independent operators and you know they employ a bookkeeper. It's como para que un libro de registro, right? The bookkeeper. Or an accountant full or part-time or use an outside service, right? So, como para llevar las cuentas, etc., right? So, that's why he says un libro de registro here, the bookkeeper. All right, excellent. So, uh, questions? Vocabulary? Okay, no problem. So, let's just go on this one right here, which is going to be about supervision. Two volunteers, volunteer for number one and number two right here. Who's number one, everybody? Let me hear you. Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Please continue. Supervising, supervision. As noted previously, the person who supervises, supervises. on premise what? Supervises. Supervises on premise clerical work usually. Report to the general manager as does any in-house accountant. We should note, however, that there are many smaller operations Who's, 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 uh -huh. who's low sales volume will not support clerical staff. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, and who can help me with the second paragraph, people? Second paragraph. Thank you. In this case, the clerical and accounting part. Routines are usually handling the, the manager's results in chains, particularly QSR chains. Reporting systems have become mainly automated. Here, most of reports are reported from 
time entries, meaning the point of sales registered and automatically transmitted directly to the central accounting office. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right. That was a good job reading the paragraph. Hey, guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary in this second paragraph? Questions about the vocabulary here? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Eh, en, las, en el segundo párrafo, la segunda línea donde dice manager, pencils. ¿Cómo sería ahí? In the second line you said, themselves. Themselves. Ay, ¿qué significa themselves? Themselves means mm -hmm. ellos mismos. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All right. So anything else? Clerical work. Mm, paragraph one or two? One. Paragraph one. So you said clerical work. Yes. Okay. Let's see this one. Oh, okay. Second line, credit card award. This one, right? Credit card work. Okay, so it's just like this one. One second. It's just like difficulties here. This one, right, my friend? Yes. Um, Nuria, was that the word you were saying? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So that's another way to say trabajo administrativo, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, excellent. So, well, let's see what's next right here, ladies and gentlemen, so we can continue here. And now let's talk about the general manager, the general manager here. So let's see. Can you see the new screen? Yeah, right? Awesome. So let's see, the general management, all right? So in this one, it says that it is essential that there um, there be someone in charge whenever an operation is open, includes general managers and their assistants, right? A key point is that managers act as a team to give direction to the unit to maintain standards, quality and cost, and to secure the best possible experience for their guests, all right? So that's why it says right here, el manager no puede ser una figura individual o independiente in the restaurant, right? So, aquí se trabaja como equipo, all right? That's actually how it works. Is that clear? Yeah, teacher. Questions on the vocabulary? No? Okay, great, excellent. So we will continue right here with this one. All right. Hemos visto like las secciones del restaurant. Vamos a ver, who can tell me at this moment, a ver si remember, cuáles son las secciones del restaurant? Las tres que acabamos de ver. What was the first one? Mm -hmm. Ah, remember, ¿cómo se llama esa parte del restaurant que uno ve que tiene acceso a? Front of the house. Front of the house, all right? Lo que uno no ve o normalmente lo que sería la cocina. What is it? Back of the house. The back of the house, exactly, right? Eh, y lo que hace el, el, um, los managers... ¿Cuál era ese? ¿Mm? Hello. Ah, the office. Remember the office. Here you have it, All right? That's the office. Ahí está el manager, el accounting y todo lo demás. 
Pero ahora vamos a ir, like, talk about, like, the daily routine. ¿Qué se hace en cada section here? Pongan atención a esto, please. Pay attention to this one, porque una activity sí es lo que vamos a hacer in a moment. ¿Qué se hace en un opening? So somebody has to unlock the door. Hey, everybody, what is unlock the door? What is it? Mm -hmm. Like open? Open, uh -huh. open the door in a small operation. It might be any employee in the large operation. It would probably be an assistant manager, right? Entonces ahí depende de qué tan grande sea la operation. Puede ser cualquier empleado o un eh, assistant manager. As other employees arrive for work, storage areas in walks in must be unlocked. All right. Es decir, for example, llega el manager, abre lo que tiene que abrir y hay otras partes donde no tiene que pasar nadie. So, entonces por eso dice, um, it's like, you know, like deja así or they have to unlock. O sea, las, area, las areas eh, donde la gente tiene que pasar. All right. Any larger restaurants, a considerable amount of equipment has to be turned on. Hay que ser de mucho equipo, equipo de oficina, equipo, equipo. All right, equipment has to be turned on. You know, refrigerators, lamps, eh, computers for the cashiers, etc. right? And processes, the process is automatic, but in order, in order operations, equipment is turned on by hand, following a carefully planned schedule, All right? A veces el sistema puede ser Um, automático o uno tiene que llegar a abrir like the computer and everything else. All right. Let's see. Before and after the rush. What is it? This one. Before and after the rush. Remember that the rush is como la prisa, right? The most important is making your setup that is preparing the food before the next meal period, right? So antes de que se llegue la hora pico, the rush hour, we have to, you know, we need to have all the food that we're going to sell. And in a full menu operation, which likely involves roasting meat, chopping nettles and other salad ingredients, and performing uh, those tasks, task, right? So, and so on. So, es decir, antes de la hora pico, debería ya estar preparada la comida, o por lo menos lo que nos tiene que hacer en el momento, right? So let's see this one right here. Uh, next one, it says right here. All right, the side work is not an important activity done by servers and regular schedule. El side work is como un trabajo adicional, así como teníamos el side dish, tenemos here el side work, all right? Which uh, another important activity done by servers on a regular schedule. Sidewalk includes such as tasks of cleaning, filling salt and pepper shakers, cleaning the condi condiment stands, and in many restaurants, some cleaning in the dining room itself or the dining room, sorry, itself. Right? Son otras de las, de las funciones que se tiene que hacer like, at, a la hora de abrir el restaurant in the morning, right? Or at the beginning of their day. All right, so now let's talk about the meal periods. What's the meaning of meal, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of meals? Hello? Comida. Comida. Las comidas. Right? comidas. Not every meal is a rush in terms of restaurants sitting capacity. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Esos son los tiempos de comida, right? Dependiendo de lo que se dedique el restaurant. Y luego tenemos aquí el closing, right? Which is a great importance of the housekeeping, sanitation, and security duties. Antes or before you go, you go home, you need to clean the restaurant, right? No lo va a llegar a limpiar al día siguiente. Because it has to be clean from the night before, right? There is also a guest contact work that is easing the last few people out of the restaurant without offending them. Aquí, mira, super important esta palabra, right? Easing the last few people out of the restaurant. ¿Qué quiere decir esa frase, my friends? Can you please tell me? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hasta que se vaya como la última persona del restaurante. Por ahí va la idea, pero ese easing, the last few people, es como intentar sacar, right, o despedir a los clientes, eh, que los últimos clientes que quedan, de una manera sin ofenderse, of course, right? For, for example, what happens in some restaurants, it's like people turn off the music, right? Se apagó la radio para que ya entiendan que we're going to close. Or sometimes, no le dicen nada al cliente, they don't tell anything to the customer, 
pero empiezan a subir las sillas a las mesas, right? Las otras mesas que están solas. So for the customer to understand que ya es hora de go home, right? ¿Alguna vez han visto eso? Have you ever seen that, people? Yes, teacher. Right? So, and then you realize that like, oh my God, quieren que me vaya, you said. Of course, they want you to go home, right? So, let's see. Uh, any other question? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Questions about the vocabulary, my friends? Housekeeping. Keeping. Housekeeping is just basically hacer la limpieza, my friend. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see this one. Any other one? Hello? No, 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 all right. So we are going to check something else right now. Bye, guys. Eh, ahora vamos a like to work on the last activity. All right. So today's class was about you knowing about this one para que pudiéramos observar eh, cómo funciona el restaurante de las tres áreas, son the three areas. The front of the house, que es lo que todo el mundo ve en un restaurant. The back of the house, que sería la cocina and so on. Right. La parte administrativa, so the administrative part, right, or the office, como lo llamábamos en the class. All right. And so on. Entonces, here, we have to actually go to this one here. Ahora vamos a trabajar en algo para que ustedes aquí puedan um, understand what happens right here. Veamos. Okay, okay. Let's see this one. Tenemos una checklist. Well, we have a checklist that I want to show you right here. And let's see. This one. Let me know if you can see the new screen, please. Yes, teacher. All yes, right. Teacher. This is an example de una checklist and de un área específica que en este caso el área sería the cleaning checklist. All right. Entonces, just like, uh, for example, it says like here, tiene ciertas criterias, criteria. All right. And you go like, for example, the floor swept and mopped. Truly, floor is clear in debris. All right. So, eso fue en la mañana o en la tarde. Y a quién le correspondía hacer eso, for example. All right. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a trabajar ahorita? Eh, usando como ejemplo esta checklist, as example, you can use this checklist. Ustedes van a trabajar en grupos y van a repartirse las eh, responsabilidades del restaurante. Y vamos a trabajar en decirme quién va a hacer cada cosa. Aquí, en este example que les muestro ahorita, en this example you can see right now in, on the screen, solamente es de cleaning checklist. Ustedes pueden hacer uno que incluya, o sea, pueden, like, este cuadrito pueden tomarlo como example y en lugar que solo sea de cleaning, simplemente sería de restaurant checklist. For example, aquí pueden poner en uno de estos, I'll show you right here, que se puede poner aquí. All right. Open the doors, the doors at 5 a.m., for example, at 5.30 a.m. Este podría ser una de las cosas que ustedes podrían, eh, for example, poner ahí, right? ¿Quién abre las, la, um, quién va a ser el que va a abrir el, el restaurant, all right? So, for example, here, all right, ponemos, oops, vamos a ir con white. All right, this one, okay. Entonces ponemos aquí nuevamente, decimos like, open the restaurants, open the doors at 5 a.m., at 5.30 a.m., well, whatever. Bah, good, so you go on this one. Bah, ¿Quién abre las puertas at 4? ¿De qué te horario es esto? In the morning or in the afternoon? Le ponemos aquí, in the morning. ¿Quién lo hizo? And we go here with Nuria, for example. All right. All right, so in another here, we can go and say, like, for example, this one, que podemos poner aquí? You can say, for example, que otra de las activities que vimos en las slides pueden mencionarme ustedes? Uh -huh. Aunque no vayan en orden, solo mencionen activities que se les vengan a la mente. 
Huh? Turn on, turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. All right, exactly. De qué horario? De la morning. ¿Quién no hizo este? So that would be eh, este Lee, for example. Este Lee. All right, so. Y así vamos a ir eh, como creando nuestra propia checklist. All right. Y después me van a, a explicar qué va a hacer cada cosa. Right. Y a qué hora lo van a hacer. For example. Okay, so the first thing here is eh, to open. Oh, y si ustedes se fijan aquí, super important, my friends, as well, it's this one. All right, so mira, aquí está la sección de eh, dining area, que sería como más o menos decir el front of the house, all right? Or like dining area. Y mira, aquí está section, the front of the house, all right? Like this one, right? Entonces, front of the house, um, like that, all right? So, we like dining area. Entonces, están las mesas nada más y donde se recibe al cliente, right? For example. Y así van creando su propia list. ¿Estamos claros hasta aquí, people? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So let's see this one. And also, if you allow me just one minute, I would like to speak to you something in Spanish, right? Fíjense que, guys, estamos viendo, eh, revisando la asistencia eh, diaria. Y eh, recuerden ustedes que es eh, mandatory, es obligación, la asistencia a diario, que no había vali permiso válido o en este caso, any situation that can cover that. Así que usted tiene que siempre estar en la clase. En el caso de no poder participar, debe hacerlo como oyente. Recuerde que es muy importante para que usted pueda eh, ser autorizado en moverse al siguiente módulo y que no vaya a perder esa oportunidad solamente por no estar asistiendo a clases o conectarse eh, solamente en de manera parcial a la clase. Recuerde que son 120 minutos de clase. Entonces, no se le toma la asistencia nada más porque usted se conectó, sino porque estuvo conectado durante la llamada durante los 120 minutos. ¿Ok? Eh, de nuevo, si por A, B, C, D motivo usted no puede estar en la clase participando, right, so, eh, tome a bien estar como oyente, como hacen varios acá, all right, so, pero que siempre están conectados con el fin de ustedes poder completar siempre sus 120 minutos de clase y no perder la clase del todo, of course, right. Also, it's important that you do your homework as well. Ya pasó una semana, vamos a mitad de la otra y es importante que también vayan realizando las actividades que eh, son parte del proceso, right? Si alguien tiene alguna duda al respecto, feel free to contact me. Siéntanse en la libertad de contactarme. All right. Eh, remember que tenemos el grupo para reportar cualquier situation, right? Pero, eh, you know, when you are going to like report that you're going to have something, eh, avíseme con un poquito de tiempo para que podamos ver con qué opciones le podemos dar también. Eh, aunque creo que ya en intermedio usted ya sabe más o menos cómo funciona esto. All right. Eh, do you have any questions de la información que les acabo de dar, people? No, yeah. teacher. No, teacher. All right. Excellent. Así que los invito, por favor, a ser puntuales eh, para poder entrar a la clase, estar durante toda la clase asistir todos los días y trabajar su homework, right? Y importante también, participate in the class, right? Porque, for example, a veces nos conectamos y nada más estamos online there y, por ejemplo, no dice oyente o anything like that. Entonces, you know, you don't participate, but you have to also, um, you know, be, be um, an active student in the class as well by participating, all right? Remember, my friends, I'm here to help you. Y en muchas ocasiones les he dicho que si you consider that I'm doing, um, like, for example, I'm going too fast, you can tell me, mire, no entendí, no problem. I repeat it, all right? But it's important that you let me know so I can just go ahead and continue with this one. Coming back to the activity here. Is it clear, people? Estamos claro con esta activity here? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes teacher. All right. Yeah? Okay. So what are we going to do right now? It's going to be very simple. We are going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. Y vamos a crear estos. And then se van a repartir las activities. Y cada uno de ustedes, excuse me, each of you are going to 
describe their own activities. For example, digamos que estamos trabajando, vamos a ver los primeros de la lista acá, del, del chat. Digamos que estamos Andre, Carlos, Daniel, Eduardo y Edwin en un grupo, right? Entonces, Andre me va a decir, okay, good evening, uh, guys, I am in charge of the uh, front of the house section, right? Yo enciendo las luces, yo abro las puertas, yo limpio las mesas, etc., right? Uh, then the other person, for example, uh, Daniel puede decir, okay, I am Daniel, yo ayudo a Andre, I just help Andre with the front of the house, I clean uh, the bathrooms, or I take the, out the garbage, right? Y así van a ir describiendo sus functions in the restaurant. Is this clear? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. teacher. All right. Yes, Excellent. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now, and then you guys start practicing, all right? Perhaps this one will be okay. Teacher, nos podría, bueno. Yes. What was the question? No, la, le iba a tomar foto, le iba a tomar foto la, a la imagen, pero ya. Oh, you have it? No, solo, solo le iba a tomar eh, el screenshot a la imagen. Okay, good. Ya vi que ya estaba. No, vi que ya, ya la tienen ahí. All right, awesome. So, vamos a ver cómo quedamos here. Perfect. All right. So the rooms have been created. Please join them and I will be around checking your activities. And if you have questions, so please let me know. All right. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Solo me queda Reina, Edwin y Carlos. Carlos, Edwin, ¿estamos como oyentes esta noche como Reina or not? Hello, Edwin. Well, it's reconnecting again. Hi, Edwin. What happened? All right. So, do you remember in what in what room were you? What number? Three. Three. Okay, let me send you to number three right now. You can join in now. Thank you. Hello. Hello, teachers. Questions, assistance, help. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in Spanish, podemos hacer ese mismo checklist que tenemos ahí. Claro. Okay. Si no solo eso. Entonces vamos a dividir acá el, el trabajo. It's okay. De, lo, de los cuatro que vemos todos, ¿podemos participar? Excuse me. Sí. 
de, de yeah. los cuatro que vemos ahí en el grupo, todos podemos participar o todos participan? The, everybody has to participate, yeah. of course. Ok. Entonces... Entonces, no sé si hacemos dos personas el, el cuadro de arriba y otras dos el cuadro de abajo. Perfecto. Y ahí pues, lo practicamos después. Entonces, no sé quién quiere hacer el de arriba. Sí, bueno. <risa> ok, Henry dice que no puede. Ok. Eh, entonces, si quieres, empiezo yo con el cuadro de arriba. No sé quién más quiere hacer el cuadro de arriba para tener dos y los otros dos que hagan el cuadro de abajo. Le ayudo con el, el cuadro, entonces. Ok. Entonces, los otros dos compañeros que siguen, o tres, eh, que hagan la segunda parte. Flower sweep. Muppet. Ok. Flower sweep, Muppet. Y eso es barrer y trapear. Correcto. Ok, okay entonces mmm, no sé si quieres barrer y trapear y yo organizo las sillas o, o quieres organizar las sillas y yo barro y trapeo. Yo barro y trapeo. <ríe> ok. Entonces. En... Sí, ajá, entonces sería en la mañana y en la tarde. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí le, le colocamos, no sé, que madruguemos salir al restaurante a las 6 de la mañana hacemos aseo. Entonces, a las 6 a.m. Hacemos aseo y tipo, ¿a qué hora cerramos el restaurante? A 8 Ok, entonces a las 8, entonces toca tipo 9 de la noche hacer aseo. Uh -huh. 8.30 Entonces so... sí, sí. Aquí No sé si puedo compartir esta cosa acá. Ok, entonces, bueno, ahí, entonces, organización de sillas y limpieza, esa la voy a hacer yo. Igual sería a las seis, no, como seis y media de la mañana. Seis y media. Sí, digamos que yo también te ayudo a barrer y, bueno, uno barre y otro va trapeando para que rinda. Eh, de ahí luego organizamos las sillas porque sería como ilógico. Entonces, tipo, sí, seis y media, organizamos las sillas. Seis y media, ajá. ¿eh? Y, y en la noche, igual no hay media. Don't forget the English, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. In, right. in the night, in the... I will go to the different night. room, okay? If you have questions, let me know, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing here? Yes. Bueno, yo estoy avanzando haciendo lo que es eh, la sesión de restaurant checklist and writer service. And, and what about the rest? Right. Mm -hmm. 
Catherine pues, Evelyn. yo en la área de servicio al cliente. Okay, great, excellent. Eh, me en the in the kitchen. Okay. Very good. And, and where are you working on that one? ¿Dónde lo están trabajando? En un comedor. No, 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 like uh, on the notebook or, or are you using any program? Ah, no, yo, yo lo estoy escribiendo en el cuaderno. All right, excellent. So, for example, I, I tengo tres cosas ahorita que hago. Ajá. Por... Uh -huh. Um, I read early, I read early mm -hmm. and clean the table. The the eight uh eight eight a.m. Mm -hmm. at ten p.m. Mm -hmm. and at, in customer service the um ten p.m. at two twelve p.m. and wash the dishes. And clean the floor. The one p.m. Uh, three no the one p.m. Uh, three p.m. Okay. In the other no. That's good. All right. What about the rest? Okay, I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Despacho de ordenes. Organize the, the kitchen. Clean and organize the kitchen. Yes. 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 For the food, maybe? And the chef. Yep. You have questions? Hello? No question. Oh, no questions. Okay. Cool. What else about the kitchen? I have clean and organized the kitchen. Check or review the ingredients. And I don't know what what other activity. Remember that when you want to say que más, you can say what else, okay? What else? Correct. What else? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Corners. What else they say? What else? What else? What else? Creo que ya están las cuatro. Ya no vamos. Hola. Hola. Ya no que dijo my friend. What did you say? <laughs> you finish for for but only have two activities in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you like, do you have another idea? Mm -hmm. Another idea. 
Serían siete actividades. La primera. Remember, you can use that as example, right? So, not necessarily. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. All right. Pero pueden ser un poquito más, un poquito menos. All right. Okay. Uh, clean the windows. Okay. I will go to a different classroom, guys. I mean, a different room to to help others. And if you okay. have questions, let me know. All right. Okay. Thank you. Lo paso caja y me voy para caja y le hago el cover. Spanish, Spanish. <laughs> All right, you finished? No, teacher. Ah, okay, because you are going to be the volunteer number one. <laughs> okay, the number one is, it is Eduardo. Mm -hmm. I open the restaurant at, 40, at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, to continue, I turn on the lights mm -hmm. and checking all are in order at 40, 10 a.m. Later, floor sweep and moped. Floor is clear and ready for attend at 5 a.m. Uh, take out the garbage and change the covers at the table and clean the chairs at 5.20 a.m. Okay, good. Sounds good. Like good, 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 good. Awesome, awesome. All right. So we are going to close the rooms right now para que podamos ir a la main session y podamos compartir nuestros um, activities, all right? Okay. Oh my goodness, I was talking and the microphone was off. <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's see. Welcome back to the main session. So we are going to listen to your plans, to your activities, to your projects there. So I, before we actually finish the class. So I would like to know who's going to be my first volunteer. Who's my first volunteer? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Trust me, sure, trust me. Oh, you then. <laughs> All right. Oh, then. Sure. How, how do you say al azar? Random. Okay, random. 
Okay. Random, random, random. Okay. Ah, you don't want to participate. No problem. I can see this one right here. Me, teacher. Ah, there you go. Oh, Daniel also. Daniel and, and Nuria, are you from the same team? No, teacher. No. no. All right. So in that case, I will go with Daniel first and then with your team, Nuria. All right? Okay. All right. Daniel, go first, please. Restaurant checklist. Mm -hmm. Section wider service. I read early and clean the tables. The eight a.m. at ten p.m. Mm -hmm. And customer service the ten a.m. at twelve p.m. Mm -hmm. Wash the dishes and clean the floor. 1 p.m. at 3 p.m. Clean chairs and keep tables area clean. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. at 5 p.m. and deliver my area on my partners to 5 p.m. at 5:30 p.m. Okay. On this. Yeah, you did a very good job. So you organize it right. So like that. The only thing that I have there as an observation is who is doing each activity? Only you? Only me. Only you. Okay, yeah. excellent. I understand. So it's, oh my goodness, you have a lot of things to do, my friend. Okay. So let's see. Thank you. Oh, Nuria, you can continue with yours, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, in the section, the dining room, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, open the doors at 5 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, y, y, ¿Lo hago yo? ¿Cómo se dice? I do it. I do it. Mm -hmm. uh, clean and organize the tables. Organize. Orga organize. Mm -hmm. Ursula y Noé. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Table prepare. Pre preparation eh, colocar ¿cómo eh, se dice? What do you mean by colocar? Like poner la en las mesas las servilletas y eso colocar. Ah, all right. Dice? Yeah, because in that case it will be just like eh, as expression poner la mesa. You said yes. All right. So sería set the table. Set the table. Set the table. Right. Okay. Eh, with salt, sugar, napkins, etc. Eh, Edwin y Noé. Mm -hmm. And Noé. Excuse me. Eh, and clean the bathrooms. Eh, encar eh, encargado. It's me. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. I really liked it. So that was very good. And thank you because... In this one, you were telling me who was doing this activity, who was doing the other one. So you, you shared the, the group, I mean, the, the activities there. So thank you very much. You did a very good job. I liked it. Congratulations. Good job. All right. Uh, one more, please. One more so we can finish. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Let's see. Happy. Me, Who's that one? Oh, Andre, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Uh, in the first, in the section, the dining area, uh, the floor sweep and move it slowly. Uh, I perform in the 8 p.m. Uh, Maritza is. ¿Cómo sería? Ella lo hace como... Como Maritza lo hace, no sabría cómo decirlo. ¿Cómo lo hace Maritza? Mar Maritza does it. Ok. Maritza does it. Eh, tables and chairs in good condition clean. Eh, I do it. Eh, chairs took it into the position... Eh, Maritza does it. Tables are least the six flip art. Mm -hmm. 
Maritza. Uh, all share the areas and sweep and totally sanitized. Uh, I do it. The other COVID-19 protocols. Protocols. Uh -huh. I, okay, I do it. Uh -huh. The hand sanitizer is really available at various locations. Uh, Maritza and I do it. All right. So and me. And then and then uh, I'm going to open the restaurant. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you very much, my friends. That was actually very good. Congratulations to everybody who really actually participating in this activity, right? And uh, we are going to, to stop right here because it's time for you to go home, of course, right? So please remember, before I let you go, no se los olvide lo que hablamos anteriormente, right? So join the class, like the 120 minutes, right? Do your homework, uh, participate in the class actively, right? And if you have any questions, please use the group to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Oh, by the way, if you need vocabulary or anything like that, let me know, right? So in a moment, I will share some words related to this topic that you can have there so you can use it in new activities, okay? So questions before I let you go, people? No questions. No questions? No Okay. All right, excellent. So, well, if that's the case, thank you very much for being here tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good night.